struggle for survival is ruled by the laws of the jungle. Some are sacrificed so that others may live. Creatures make love to ensure the next generation. But can we with certainty know friend from foe? Love works in mysterious ways. You find it where you least expect it, under a stone that has not been turned for ages. Let me tell you a story, and since it is a true story, I will not mention any names. Do you know the green house on the hill? Well, once it was yellow. The house stood empty and run down for many years. Then one day a man came along and bought it. Cheap it was. The very first time he went inside, he got the feeling he wasn't alone. The man decided to get rid of the rat and called the exterminator for advice. They recommended Dr. Jensen's rat poison, a rat salami containing 20% fat and 80% arsenic, pre-cut in delicate slices. The rat had never tasted anything so delicious and savored every morsel. He just loved rat salami. A bear trap, thought the man. This rat is big enough for a bear trap. How a bear trap happened to be in the house on the hill, no one knows, but there it was, and it worked perfectly. The rat had never seen a bear trap before and perceived instead a dynamic, expressive steel construction and installation, and understood the man to be a connoisseur of art. The man contacted the exterminator once again, and this time they sent a cat. In those days, they used specially trained Malaysian pit bull cats bloodthirsty and merciless creatures they were, delivered with a kill guarantee. The exterminator never sent the bill. And they never used Malaysian pit bull cats again. By the way, I forgot to mention that the rat was a lady, a lady rat. I am telling you this now because it is important. The past few days were like a living dream for the rat. The new man in the house, all the gifts he brought, all the wonderful surprises. The rat couldn't sleep. She tossed and turned with her thoughts. Why is he doing this for me? Little me, who has been so lonely. He must really like me. But I am so ugly and too fat. He loves me. It's as simple as that. She stood there thinking, 
until her toes nearly froze on the cold cellar floor. With a heavy heart, the man decided to move. The battle was lost. Wait, cried the rat. I'm yours. I love you too. Love works in mysterious ways. They got married. Yes, that's right. They got married. They stood side by side through thick and thin. To put it simply, they lived happily ever after in the house on the hill.